All right, today's World Water Day. <laughs> about celebrating or accelerating change to solve the water and sanitation crisis that we have around the globe. And because water affects us all, we need everyone to take action. That means you and I, you and your family, school and community can make a difference by changing the way we use, consume and manage water in our lives. And of course, that will play a very huge role, you know, um, in preserving that very important, <laughs> important, uh, what's it called, that we need for, for staying alive, resources yes, that we need for staying alive. But hey, I've been seeing a lot of videos, um, how, th I think this was in India, how, you know, the temple, you know those flowers that they use for their temple, uh, you, know the, you know, they have very colorful flowers and all of that. I watched a video, I think it was yesterday, how um, the guy, I can't remember the, the chemical now that it emits, that damages, you know, water. You would think that these things are supposed to be like plants and all of that, but the guy was just talking about how they have tons of that because, you know, again, they are highly, you know, traditional in India and all of that, so they don't um, destroy the flowers. They, they put it in, in water, it flows and all of that, but all of those things, there's a particular, I can't remember the, the, the chemical now that it, it um, releases into the water that, you know, just, you know, damages uh, or destroys um, the life in the water. So, I mean, very little things that we do. Oh, this is not little because that's a lot. There's a lot that we do that actually um, damages some of these resources mm -hmm. that we are blessed with. And we really need to start paying conscious attention you know, yeah. I mean, we really have to be careful, especially, you know, um, the way we dump things, even refuge in the sea and all of that. So it's something which we have to be very conscious. And again, talking about water, you know, people, some people are still very, they don't really take it seriously how important water is even to our health. So I remember then the late TB Joshua, there was a time which um, someone asked, how have you been able to, you don't complain being sick, how do you do that? And he told his members the secret is water. So some of his members started taking water and they came back with testimony. I'm oh, assuming healing. they think it's healing, but that's <laughs> actually a change in lifestyle. So that's important. If, me personally, I've had recommendation when I had um, gastric ulcer where they would say take enough water. And when I started taking water, I felt a difference. So water is really, really important. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hmm. That's good. Because even, even as a fitness person, they still tell you to drink a lot of water. You have to drink bottles and bottles and bottles of water every day if you want to lose weight you need to drink water so replace replace carbonated all drinks replace all your all juice that. and all of that so if it's not if it's not fresh fruit juice then just replace it with water yeah yeah and it has helped it has I actually want to helped. speak to all those human beings you know the one that annoys me the most if i see people inside down for doing it it's okay but you see you inside suv you would finish a pet bottle or your canned drinks and all mm. of that and now take down your window and fling it fling outside. It out. yeah. ah. You know, sometimes I used to wish that what, which day would the government empower me to hold Koboko? So <laughs> 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 I will come down from the traffic and I will flood the living daylight out of you. Like, how do you do that? Like, you know, I would rather my car be messy and all of that. Then when I get to somewhere, uh, I can pack up yeah, the trash, trash and all of Why yeah. would you just do it? Like, it's so... It irks my, my bone when mm. I see that thing. <laughs> but hey, oh yeah, let's quickly run through what we found in the news. We ran out of time. Okay, so let me, let me go. Uh, Tinibu jets out to Paris, London, and Saudi Arabia. So um, recently, uh, it was this week actually, there, there has been news and people said that he's actually been sick. And the reason why he traveled was because he wanted to get um, health care. But his people have come out to debunk it and they're saying, oh, that after all the stress of the campaign and the election and everything that he has done prior to now, that he just wants to use the opportunity to rest in Paris and London and would later fly to Saudi Arabia to perform yes, the I lesser have. hajj. Mm, it is where. Glory, moving on. Me, yeah, I need a break too, mm. please. So. <laughs> Very needed. <laughs> the governor of Lagos State, Baba Jide Sanwolu, has said that the Red Line Rail project will be ready for use as, at, as an alternative means of transport for Lagosians before the end of his first term in office. The governor gave an assurance on Tuesday while speaking to journalists in Lagos after an inspection tour of the ongoing Red, red Line Rail project and vehicle overpass bridges at Yaba and Oibo train station. 
So will I say this is this the beginning of something new or maybe? No. Uh, what, no, what no, no. So, maybe so, so I said it yesterday that some good some re good thing that came out of all the election back and forth mm -hmm. and all of that is the fact that you know some of these things that you know so the state governor was being accused of i mean yesterday i took the story of him increasing the pay of the civil servants which was one of the promises of grv in his in his manifesto mm. so this one too so let us just be praying that uh, <laughs> well i won't believe it until it happens <laughs> it is well all right so my story is actually quite interesting um, it says a truck driver, Buba Muhammad, has been convicted by the Federal High Court sitting in a lorry presided by Justice Mahmoud Sani. Um, that um, that um, this was disclosed by the EFCC, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, via their uh, verified Twitter handle that the convict was um, thirteen was one of the thirteen suspects of operatives of um, I, I think they deal with um, illegal mining of um, crude minerals, right, for sale outside the state. Now, this 37-year-old truck driver, uh, I think he would face a one-year imprisonment for possession of solid minerals confirmed by the Nigerian Geological Survey Agency um, to be lepidolite. There's this one called Mon Montmorillonite and Chrysolcola. <laughs> I don't know their names, but <laughs> hey. But one of the particular, one of the um, mineral the, that's the lepidolite is one of the raw materials that's being used in production of batteries for cars, mm. you know, um, for phones, cell phone cameras, and you know, other electronic devices. So I look at this story. Uh, okay, so they've confiscated his truck, and of course they've um, apprehended the driver. Mineral illegal mining is a big, big, big business in Nigeria that involves huge cartels. Yeah. So it is a joke. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. It is a joke to me reading this story. Because truly, this one is just a victim caught in the line of fire. Yeah. If you really want to trace illegal mining, it's pretty simple. Right? All these things that we pretend like we don't see, we turn a blind eye. Mm. There are people truly taking up our mineral resources. Mm -hmm. Big time foreigners coming to mine illegally and all of that. Why are we not arresting those people? Why are we not facing those people? You know, a truck driver, come on. They're always looking for the small fishes to I'm catch. I'm telling you. So you see, that's why they don't want to make it seem like they're actually yeah, so doing the job. Absolutely. Because that's I saw the news and it said, oh, that they were going to give him one year imprisonment or he'll pay a fine of 400,000 naira. If you really want to do the job, they are the real cartel. Let us target them, you know, and catch them by the jugular. All right, we'll take a break now. I want to discuss kidney health. Stay with us. We'll be right back.